everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, for the first time, subscribe, become a member of the Slashed Squad. Here I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Will you want to recreate them at home? I don't know if I can say for sure about this one. <laughs> Yesterday was 4th of July. I'm filming this on Wednesday and I was of course rocking a very bold red lip. But in between me doing my top lip and bottom lip, I took a picture, which I will insert right here, that I put on my Instagram story of my whole face, but just my top lip filled in. And I was kind of just goofing around. I thought it kind of looked silly, so I posted it. And then I started getting a lot of positive comments about how cool the look was. And as I kept looking at it and I was looking in the mirror, I was like, you know, this kind of does look a little couture, a little high fashion-ish. You know, a lot of crazy beauty trends have been going around on Instagram lately. We've got the fuzzy lips, we have the metallic lips. So now I'm doing, I don't know what to call this, the bare bottom lip. You're basically just filling in your top lip with a bold color and either leaving your bottom lip bare, covered with foundation, or fill it in with a nude shade. So is this gonna be the next Instagram thing? I don't know, maybe, hopefully, that'd be cool. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you how to get today's look. Um, other than the lips, everything else is a little bit more neutral. I did slay the highlighter and I did still do a dramatic winged eye just to keep things a little balanced between the top of my face and the bottom of my face. But the lips are obviously still the focal point of the look. So if you wanna know how to get this look, keep on watching. So first I started with one of my favorite hydrating primers. This is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. And then I'm just color correcting with the Sephora Bright Future Concealer in green. Next, I'm using one of the most full coverage drugstore foundations ever. It's the Milani Conceal Imperfect 2-in-1 Foundation. And because the lips are going to be the focal point, I want my skin to just be a flawless base. So that's why I'm kind of going full coverage for this look. And then I'm just going to brighten the under eye and highlight a few points on my face with the e.l.f. Brightening Concealer in Light. And I'm going to do my normal brow routine using the City Color Cosmetics Bold Brows Tinted Eye Gel. And I do apply this with an angled brush, which helps me get them really precise and chiseled out. For my eyes, I'm keeping them super, super neutral. So I'm using the e.l.f. Best Friends Duo in T for two, and I'm placing the matte eggshell color all over the lid. And then I'm gonna be putting the shimmery taupe color in my crease. And because we're putting a shimmery color in the crease, it's actually going to give more of a flat, highlighted look than adding dimension, which I think is another cool little subtle quirk about this look. And then I'm tight lining to thicken up that lash line on top with the Physician's Formula Glide On Liner. And then I'm using the Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner to create this very dramatic wing. And of course I didn't mean for it to be so dramatic, but then I had to even them out. And you know how that goes. <laughs> Then I'm topping off my eyes with the Prestige My Biggest Lashes Big Lash Effect Mascara. I just got this in my Beauty Box 5, which I unboxed on my channel, and I'm actually loving it for every day. It's super separating, lengthening, and volumizing, so it's just a great all-in-one mascara. So the contour and highlight is another pretty strong feature of this look. I'm contouring with my favorite Pixi Natural Contour Powder. Then I'm using the ColourPop and Hello Kitty Collaboration Blush in Coin Purse, but I'm pretty sure they have a Super Shock Cheek Matte shade that's very similar to this. Um, if I find it, I will link it below. Then I'm highlighting with one of my absolute favorite powder highlighters. This is the e.l.f. HD Highlighting Powder in Sunset Glow. However, it has broken many times and I've put it back together many times, so that's why it looks like this. And I am topping my cheeks with the highlighter as well as kind of dusting it under my brow bone. I'm gonna put it down the bridge of the nose on Cupid's bow and then I'm gonna pat it into my inner corner on the eyes as well. 
So in the original photo when I was playing around with this look, I was using the ColourPop and Hello Kitty collaboration. This is the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Ribbon. Obviously this collaboration is no longer, but um, the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips is a great formula to use for this look because you need something that's going to dry down matte and not transfer to maintain that separation between the top lip and the bottom bare lip. So if you have another ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in a red shade, that would work just as well. If you do want to go for the red look, which I personally like the best with this type of trend I guess that we're creating over here. Um, the Jessie's Girl Matte Finish Lip Color in the shade Sultry is also a very good option because these have a similar wear time and dry down feel as the ColourPop ones. They're a little bit thinner though. Now like you saw I did put foundation on my bottom lip which helped blank it out and it's really going to make this effect even more dramatic. If you don't like the feeling of foundation on your lips though you can use a nude lipstick on the bottom bottom lip, but it has to be a formula you trust that, again, will dry down and will not transfer. And then you're going to have to be a little bit more careful about rubbing your lips together throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the red just to my top lip. And I think what makes this look even more um, eye-catching is when you do overdraw the top lip or kind of round it out a little bit more than your natural lip. So that is what I'm going to be doing. To me, it kind of reminds me of like a handlebar mustache, but feminine because it's lipstick. So like I said, red is definitely my favorite color to wear this trend with, but you can definitely do other bold shades, especially now that we're in summer, you can do something like a hot pink that would look awesome. I would stay away from shades that are too dark, like dark browns or even blacks, just because that might end up looking like a real mustache. <laughs> So the trick is you do have to keep your mouth relatively open while you're letting it set and you do have to let it set completely. Obviously I'm talking because I'm telling you how to do it so I am getting a little bit of red around the rim here but in just a second I'll show you what this looks like when you do finish off the bottom lip with a nude color. But this is basically the gist of it. I don't know if it's a thing or if it's going to be a thing. We're trying to make fetch happen here um, but let me know what you think because I was just playing around and then it turned into something that people liked. So now I'm gonna fill in my bottom lip with a nude shade. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte in the shade 101. And this isn't gonna look as blanked out as it does just with foundation on. And I feel like this is kind of the essence of the look, but it does make it maybe a little bit more wearable. We'll see. But yeah, once you add a color on the bottom, it's basically just color blocking, but you are keeping that idea of having the bold color on top and a relatively nude shade on bottom. And it does kind of even it out if you don't like that foundation look, since the foundation can um, accentuate the lines on your lips. But what do you think? I'm kind of really into it. I'm excited to know how you feel about this look. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to tag me if you recreate it. Yeah, I think it's an out of the box look that's still really easy to recreate at home. So even if you're not going out, in public with it. I don't even know if I'm that brave yet. Um, I really do hope that you try it and just kind of uh, step out of your comfort zone. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and I'll be sure to do more trend trying videos like this. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, become a member of the Slashed Squad. If you've done that, high five, hit the bell icon so you know every time a new video goes live. I make new videos every Saturday and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.